Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to do my video for programming the uh, IR sensor. Okay. Now I have here the image of my IR sensor. Now, before I program this IR sensor, let me explain how this IR sensor works. Okay. Now, as you can see, my IR sensor, there are two LED there. Actually, the clear one is the LED, light emitting diode, and that dark colored one is the uh, photodiode. Okay. Now, uh, this uh, light emitting diode, or the clear one, is emitting a light signal. Then this light signal is not visible to our naked eye. Okay. Now, the concept is if an object is approaching this uh, IR sensor, the light being emitted by this LED will bounce back from the object going to the photodiode. Okay? So the magnitude of the signal received by the photodiode is proportional to the output signal of our IR sensors. Okay? Then another thing, there is an onboard uh, potentiometer. The purpose of this onboard potentiometer is for calibrating your IR sensors. Why do you need to calibrate it? Because uh, this IR sensor is uh, sensitive to ambient light. Okay, so let's say if you are going to install it in an area where is there is an intense ambient light, so you have to calibrate your IR sensors. Likewise, if you are going to install it in a uh, area where there is less ambient light, so you need to calibrate it also. Okay, so you will have the a good sensitivity of this. Uh, IR sensor. Okay. Now I have also the two LEDs, the blue and the yellow. This blue and yellow will represent the occupied and unoccupied slot in our parking space. Now I have also the table here, which is self-explanatory. The IR sensor BCC is connected to the five volts uh, port of our Arduino board, and the ground is connected also to the ground of our Arduino board. Then the out is connected to our uh, fifth, uh, sixth analog input of our uh, Arduino board. Our analog inputs is labeled from A0 to A5, okay? Then the blue, the, the blue LED and the yellow LED, the connection is shown in this uh, table. The shorter leg of the LED is connected to the ground, okay? Then the positive pin, the blue, is connected to our I.O. pins number two, and yellow is I.O. pins number three in our Arduino board. Okay, now uh, here I have here the program, okay. In Arduino IDE, okay. now this IDE is downloadable from the Arduino site. Okay. Once you create a new program in this uh, IDE, it automatically this IDE will name your program as sketch underscore or maybe it will put the date. Now all programs written in IDE is labeled as sketch, okay? So the file name initially will be sketch, then something like that. Now you can rename this uh, file name. So you will use a descriptive name. So it will remind you what is the purpose of this program or what is the content of this program. So in this case, I rename my program to IR underscore sensor underscore pro, okay? Now, when you create a new program in Arduino, the IDE automatically create two empty, uh, <clears throat> two empty functions. The first function is the void setup function and the other function is the void loop. Okay, let me walk you through with my program. Okay, so I have there the first three instructions. Okay, so the first, Three are in slot one underscore available two in slot one occupied equals three in IR sensor one equals five. Now, actually, these three instructions are just variable declarations and variable assignment. Okay. Now, as you can see in my first instruction, I have the, the reserve word in, which is short for integer, meaning this variable name will hold a value of integer data type. Okay. So my variable name is slot one underscore available equals two. So this, uh, I assign a two value for the variable name. Actually, these two, three, and A5 are the uh, pin 
in our Arduino board. Okay. Now, what is a variable? Variable is just a memory name location. Or uh, let's say if you're a programmer, you will be needing a variable that will hold the value for your some computation calculation. Okay. When you compute something, you want to put the result in a container. So in this case, we are using a variable. Okay, so it will hold the value uh, output of our calculations. Okay, now, um, so as I said, the IDE will create for you two empty functions. Okay, so let's go to the first function. The, the first function is void setup. Okay, so before it it was empty. Now I put my instruction inside the setup function okay. now in this setup function we have this first instruction put your setup code here to run once as you can see uh, there are two forward slashes in the beginning of this instruction meaning this is just a comment so uh, all the instruction you begin with two forward slashes will be treated by the compiler or interpreter as a comment okay so all this instruction, pin mode slot one available output, pin mode slot one occupied output, and the last one uh, will be run once only. Okay, so put your set up code here to run once. So meaning the interpreter will just uh, interpret or run the instruction or instruction there only once. Okay, now let's look at this first instruction, pin mode, open parenthesis slot one underscore available then comma output okay now actually pin mode uh, we are just calling the built-in function uh, pin mode now this built-in function pin mode will be needing two arguments or we need to supply two values okay the values will be separated by comma so pin mode is just like we are uh, assigning or configuring the uh, the pin okay so is it Input or output. In this case, slot one available, comma, this is the pin, then the configuration is output. When we assign it as an output, meaning this pin will give a high signal or five volt signal to drive our load or to power the external circuit. So when you assign it as input, this pin will receive an input signal of low or zero volts or high signal five or five volts or high signal, okay? So this time, uh, when we call the pin mode, we are assigning this slot one available to output. Likewise, the slot one occupied, we assign it also as an output. Then the IR sensor, we assign it as an input. As you know, we are going to receive an input signal from our IR uh, sensor. Now the signal given by this uh, IR sensor will range from 0 to 1,023, okay? So that is our void setup. By the way, when you, the function name is, uh, there is a void uh, in front of your function name, meaning this function will not return a value. You know, when we are doing programming, when we define a function, we know that the function will always return a value, okay? In this case, when we don't want our function to return a value, we use the reserve word void in front of our function name, okay? Now, I hope it's clear. So let me proceed with my void loop, okay? Now, again, the comment says, put your main code here to run repeatedly. When it says repeatedly, in this function, your interpreter will be just looping inside this function, okay? So let's say first line of instruction, interpreted, second line, when it reached the last instruction, then it will go back to the first instruction, then it will perform again the next third. So it will be continuously repeating all these instruction. Okay, that's why it's called loop. Okay, now uh, inside my loop function, I'm using here a control structure, if, else if, control structure. Okay, now uh, the, per, uh, the, the, uh, the second line of instruction is if, Open, parent, open parenthesis analog read A5 greater than 500. Okay, actually I'm reading the value in my analog input number six or the one labeled A5 in our Arduino board. I'm checking 
if the value I'm receiving from the IR sensor is greater than 500. If it is true, if it is greater than 500, then there is a block of code, digital write, slot one occupied, digital write, slot one available high, and delay three, 300. So digital write, again, we are just calling a built-in function uh, in our uh, IDE. Then in this built-in function, again, you have to supply two values, okay? First is the pin, okay? Then the next is the, uh, if it is low or high. So digital write is low, slot one occupied low. We are saying that this LED for occupied will, uh, you will write a signal there of low or you are, you are giving there a zero volts, okay? Then the next line is digital write slot one available high. So in this one, the available LED will be, uh, or the pin for the available LED, uh, our board will give a five volt signal or high signal, okay? At this, this pin will be supplying five volts to the external circuit or our load, which is the LED for available slot, which is the blue one, okay? Then the next instruction is delay. So I'm just putting uh, around 300 millisecond delay. So our, um, it will, the, the interpreter will just stay there for around 300 millisecond. Then after this time delay, it will go to the next line of instruction, this else if. Now in this else if, again, uh, I'm trying to get to know the value what is being received in our input, uh, input port. If it is less than 500, then I will do this. Uh, two instruction, slot one occupied, I will say, okay, the, the pin uh, associated with the slot one occupied will give a five volt signal that will power the LED for that uh, occupied slot. Then the slot available LED, that pin will give a zero volt or low uh, signal. So this is how you are going to turn on and off the available and not available, okay? So this is a very simple programming. I hope uh, you, you understand how this IR sensor is programmed, okay? Now let me show you also the, let me show you also the, uh, program in my IDE. Okay, this is my uh, uh, program. I will try to check it. Okay, compiling. Okay, done compiling. I will download it. Okay, now there's no error. Now I will show you how this uh, demo works. Okay, now I have here my uh, LED, as you can see, the blue LED is already turned on. So if the if a car is approaching, okay, now as you can see, the yellow LED is lit, meaning the, the, the slot is occupied, okay? So occupied, available, occupied, available, okay? So that is the outcome or the output of our program for this IR sensors. Once again, thank you very much for watching this uh, short video clip. If you have any comments or question, feel free to jot it down. Then if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you will be notified if a new video will be uh, available. Now, my next video will be the build, uh, circuit building for my gate barrier, which is included in the car parking system. Once again, thank you very much for watching and God bless and bye for now. <clears throat>